Hi, this is Miss Everett. I teach fourth grade at Flint Hill. Um, the last two lessons, we talked about two steps of the writing process. Today, we're gonna talk about the third step. So remember guys, we did pre-writing, our time to think, drafting, time to write it down. Today, we're gonna revise. That's our time to improve our writing. So let's watch a refresher video so that we Remember what the writing process actually is. I don't know what to write about. Write about you? Dear Tim and Moby, I need to write an essay for English. The opening paragraph is due tomorrow. It can be about anything, but I don't know where to start. Help. From Angel. I'm in the same boat, but Moby just gave me an idea. When you can write about anything, it's good to pick a topic that you're familiar with. Okay, now that I've got my topic, the pre-writing begins. This is when you collect your ideas and make some notes. Let's see what kinds of things come to mind when I think about life with Moby. I'll start at the beginning, like when we uh, first met. Um... Ah. Well, hello, little robot. What's your name? Moby, huh? Well, how'd you get here? Where did this big giant smoking crater come from? Who built you? don't really remember how we met. I, I guess we've just known each other forever. Moby and I have lots of fun together, like when we go camping. Hanging out with Moby can also be exhausting. Uh, we have lots of adventures, even traveling back in time. Moby's messy. He can't cook anything without destroying the kitchen. Well, let's see what I've got so far. Adventures, fun, known him forever, exhausting, and messy. That's a good start. On to the drafting stage. This is where you develop your notes into full sentences and start to write a rough draft. Okay, how's this for an intro paragraph? Me and Moby have known each other for as long as I can remember. He's my friend even though he drives me nuts sometimes. I guess it's fair to say we act a lot like brothers, having fun and getting on each other's nerves sometimes. Now, we don't have to use all of our ideas here, just the ones that get our main ideas across. What we're doing now is called revising taking the draft and moving things around, changing words to make the writing more interesting. It's a good idea to read your writing out loud and to get feedback from friends and family. Oh, that works. Let's see, Moby and I are a lot like brothers. I've known him as long as I can remember. We do lots of things together and even though he drives me nuts sometimes, we're still best friends. Sounds all right. Now we just need to proofread it for spelling and grammar. Mm, whoops. Looked like a good intro paragraph to me. The last step is publishing this to show my teacher tomorrow. Cool. Hey, what are you doing with that water balloon? Don't make me revise this. Okay guys, so we have our refresher in what the writing process is. And we say, he said something about proofreading. That would be when we say edit, okay? But let's go back to our flip chart. And, oh, remember last week I wrote some things. And actually when I wrote them, I wrote about the rain. This was in my drafting. Well, there were actually words I left out. But that happens sometimes in drafting because you're just flowing ideas and you, my brain was working faster than my pen. I've actually fixed that a little bit, but it was okay that I didn't fix it yet because I was just drafting. So this was my ideas I had. I like the rain. I like, I play games with my family during the rain. That was my drafting phase. And I had to get to revising, right? This is when I'm making my writing a little bit better. I'm gonna add some descriptive words and some other things to it 
because I'm getting ready soon to edit it and publish it. And when my teacher sees it, I want her to think it's fabulous. So one of my first sentences were, I like the rain. I'm just gonna write that sentence. It's not very exciting, so I need to kind of fix it. I'm gonna revise it, I'm gonna add some things to it so that when I put this in my paper and I do all of my other sentences, this is gonna catch my teacher's attention. So I might say, this is boring, but I could put, I love to run outside I love to run outside when it's raining. Much better than I just like the rain. And then I can say, oh, I also like to stomp in puddles. My I like the rain has now become all of this. So I would go through each sentence from my drafting and expand it and make it better, right? So now you need to take what you drafted from last week and do this, do exactly what I did. Take your sentence, make it better. We're still not too concerned about punctuation because we'll get to that next time, but we need, need to make this more exciting. We need to expand our ideas, add some details, make it fun. And then next week, next week we'll get into editing it. Not yet, next week, we're gonna fix it up. All right guys, enjoy your writing.